Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, that's W-O-R-I-M-I, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. First of all, huge, uh, huge surrounding light energy to the uh, New South Wales and Victorian firefighters. Apparently 2,000 of them have been deployed in Victoria. Uh, that's a, the state down the bottom of Australia. Uh, not Tasmania, the very bottom, but towards the bottom of the mainland of Australia, as uh, they've been uh, struggling with horrific fire conditions for the last couple of weeks and they are about to turn catastrophic. Uh, 110 firefighters are taking their trucks from New South Wales down to Victoria and uh, all these firefighters, uh, they are volunteer firefighters. They're taking time off their usual paid jobs uh, to to assist with it. They do get paid while they're away, but it it's not their full time profession. So absolute huge huge hugs to uh, all the firefighters. Um, now quickly, Sweden uh, Orbán has removed his um, opposition to Sweden joining NATO. So that's. Uh, clear to go, about to take effect, so really, really happy there. Now, I'm using my Gilded Tarot Royale. I want to have a look at, um, right, the GOP <laughs> in regards to, first of all, a lot of people have been reading on the IVF. Now, I do in some ways understand that there was uh, a tightening of regulation required because apparently what happened in IVF clinic uh didn't have adequate security and some random uh, just wandered in and uh, pulled some uh, embryos out of a liquid nitrogen vat. Uh, I'm assuming they suffered severe burns in the process and really precious uh, embryos for people that were going through uh, the IVF cycle were lost. Now, I have family and friends who have gone through the IVF and I know how traumatic uh, the process can be. However, what happened is the people who lost the embryos uh, sued the clinic uh, for basically um, uh, inadequate security that resulted in the murder of their um, future children. Uh, it's gone right through the courts. Um, I think it's Alabama, right up to the Supreme Court of Alabama, where the court ruled in favour of um, IV, IVF embryos being uh, having the same rights as as children that have been born. So that's uh, really interesting in that now a lot of clinics have said, oh, well, we ain't touching IVF now. Understandably, I mean, what happens if you implant two embryos into a woman as part of the cycle and only one of them takes? Is it murder of the second, uh, a second embryo? Like, it's just absolutely wrought with... Um, legal uh, consequences that weren't thought through from the start. The Alabama Attorney General is uh, going crook at the clinics for saying, oh, well, we're not, we're not touching this now, saying, oh, but we'd never charge. Well, it doesn't matter what the Attorney General says that we'd never charge. If the law says that you are guilty uh, if you go, uh, undertake this particular um, procedure and then something happens, that's the law. And if it gets taken to court, that's the law. It doesn't matter what the Attorney General is throwing out. In the same vein, Kentucky has a bill going through the Parliament at the moment uh, having, it was a total abortion ban. However, they've put through a couple of amendments saying, uh, except for in the case of rape and incest. So this is, this is the two angles of the GOP, basically saying we're going to make it difficult for those that want to have uh, children to have children, but those that don't want to have children, uh, it's going to be difficult not to have those children. It's just absolutely bizarre. So using my Gilded Tarot Royale, I just want to have a look at the fallout of all of this. I might start with the Alabama IVF Clinic. What's the fallout of this? What's going to happen? Absolutely, absolutely lunacy uh, in that they haven't, it's, it, 
It's like these women in, in particular states that have a miscarriage and then get dragged before the courts for having a miscarriage because it was the murder of an unborn child or something. Yes, that is happening in the US. I mean, women don't voluntarily <laughs> miscarry. Just absolutely horrifically bizarre. So just show me how this is going to play out. The Alabama, the IVF clinics, Let's have a look from the IVF clinic's point of view. And I completely understand they just say, right, we're out of here. Um, because they cannot, aside from the fact that the ruling is so vague, um, yes, I do understand that there probably should have been more uh, ruling in regards to security oversight. But this is just talk about overreach. Okay, show me the IVF clinic. Show me from the IVF clinic's point of view in Alabama, how's this going to play out? How is this going to play out? Well, that one, no, come on down. Sorry about my really long waffle. What are we, six minutes in? So the Empress, the Empress is about the, the um, Mother Earth, but it's also about women women and their reproductive rights, women and their their choice to be mothers. It's about birth and nurturing. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And talk about, yes, a signifier card. We've got the challenge is going to be the voter here. Ooh, how gerrymandered um, Alabama. The voter here. But I'm also drawn to the fact that it's two women about um, bringing in a harvest, discussing. So the challenge to this ruling from the IVF clinic's point of view, I'm not talking about um, the challenge to this ruling is going to be the voters, the women voters. At the foundation, we've got something significantly new coming forward that's in regards to protection and security and stability and nurturing, um, masculine protection as well with this stag here. Okay, so something new being brought forward, new opportunities perhaps in the past, the anxiety, absolutely. Women going through IVF that have stored embryos, don't know where they stand. The clinics don't know where they stand. The, the men that are involved don't know where they stand. I mean, this is the men's children as well that are these embryos. Just anxiety, uncertainty. I've had my, I've had my eggs extracted. My husband or my partner has supplied their, their sperm. We have these frozen embryos. I've been on the course of hormone needles to, to prepare my body to accept these eggs. And now this ruling comes out. What do I do? Do I get who implanted? And if one doesn't take, then I'm considered a murderess. You know, just, ah, oh, awful, 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 stupid ruling. I just, the anxiety behind it all. Uh, crowning this reading, the energies over this reading is a need to take the blindfold off and look at the truthful honesty of what the what decision needs to be made. A decision needs to be made here. So let's see what the outcome is. Walking away. Short-term outcome, walking away. The clinics are just going to close and walk away. It's not worth their while. Oh, boy. This is new ruling in regards to... This is... Okay, thank you. Love it when my boys clip me up the side of the year. And this was the male ruling in regards to um, a nurturing medical health issue. Thank you. Love it when they do that to me. Um, yeah, because you've got the stag here with this ruling coming out. Oh, just externally. I'm, I'm talking about the clinics themselves closing In externally, internally. Oh boy, oh boy. End of a cycle, end of a health cycle internally. 
unless I'm asking a money question, pentacles mean opportunities or health or protection. It's the end of a health cycle in Alabama. Hopes and fears, circles of support, support coming together, um, rallying, emotional, emotional support. Uh, if you are affected of this, please by this, please plug into your support network. Absolutely, and I am wondering here whether those embryos will be transported to another state. But it, then it means that women have to travel and be away from from their from their support network. However, the outcome: temperance, moderation balancing also juggling but it's fire and water putting this to the test justice a new ruling coming out we've got here the king of wands a new plan a new communication a new beginning uh, being brought forward by the Lawmakers or the courts, there's something more here. Okay, thank you. We've okay, thank you. I've got the male lawmakers here finding themselves out in the cold. In the face of the feminine truth. Secrets coming to the surface and being revealed about mercenary actions. This is, again, the men bringing forward this ruling that restrict women. Oh, gosh, as if we don't need that. But I do see that it's going to be stopped. And I suspect these male lawmakers might find that... Um, their donations will also stop and then we've got a significant ending new beginning and here we have the Biden administration, the Democrats and the sword of truth. Now this, putting it, putting this legislation into retreat, this, there were some lies that surrounding this, some lies and new boundaries being set up. I'm wondering whether this is gone. I want to ask a question. I know this is going to turn. I might do Kentucky separate. Um, I'm going to ask a question here. Was there evangelical money? behind this decision. I know, going out on a limb. Was there evangelical money, donations or whatever, was there money behind this decision? Was there, I can, I can see now, I, where, where's Alabama? I can just um, I just see money coming across a couple of states, if that makes sense. I mean, we are talking Alabama, I think, is deep south, isn't it? But was there... Okay. Oh, okay. Was there religious money behind this decision? I'm getting that there's a... A um, entity behind the scenes that it, it's with religion. There, they they think they call it tinkering with God's will. So they're anti-abortion, but they're also anti-IVF. Is there anti-IVF money behind this legislation? That one wants to come out. Is there anti? IVF money behind this legislation. 
Let's see what this card is. Yeah. I know it's the Five of Pentacles, but yeah, it's the church. The church here, behind the light and shunning those out into the cold. I mean, traditionally, in the original right awake, they were lepers. But yeah, shy, just, yeah, yes, evangelical religious money behind this. Challenged by insecurity about their position, but also they're wanting to keep it secret. Keep it hidden, hidden money based in insecurity. Oh, this is awful. Uh, foundation. Oh, these are all money cards. Foundation. Uh, making health decisions on behalf of women with money. In the past, secrets. Swamp. Secrets that have not yet been revealed. We'll come to the surface though and tower moment. Oh, when it comes to the surface, this is just going to be, I'm going to say when when this, please, I hope it does come to the surface, this will be explosive, absolutely abuse of power, stealing, betrayal, just awful, awful in the immediate future, and that's what this is. However, externally we have justice here, justice being brought forward, can also be Actions having consequences, but I think there might be a something that comes through the court system in regards to this about the independent female wanting to have rights over their own health. Could also be whoever these are trying balancing IVF and abortion in from the in their gilded cage and not listening to public opinion. Let's see where it goes. A lot of headlines coming out very quickly in regards to this. Might be an investigative journalist. We've got the voter here. The voter is not happy. The voter, we've got, again, the male uh, legislators causing a lot of anxiety, similar cards, different order but information being brought forth. It's only a small to start with, a chink in the armour. Information being brought forward about literally paid for play, mercenary actions, and it's going to be big stick moment. This page of wands is going to turn into the ace of wands, which is going to force a retreat from uh, the... A tr retreat from the stand in the past that they made and investigation about the snake in the past. These legislators need to perhaps watch themselves because we then got manipulation leading to loss, heartbreak, despair and money changing hands. I just yuck, yuck in fighting the GOP infighting about women's, uh, restricting women's health is going to result in their downfall. There is a volatile message coming forward, an explosive message that is going to force new uh, legislation and those that were involved having to literally surrender themselves. Be careful what you wish for as you're stealing people's freedoms while in government. Just, ugh. Okay, that went somewhere I didn't expect it to, but do to be honest, none of it would surprise me. So keep an eye out. Uh, I suspect there will be, a, it'll be a small breaking article, perhaps in one of the independent newspapers that will then get picked up. Okay, let's see how it plays. Love to you all. Take care.